The school has always been open to the use of technology and uh, obviously over the last five or six years it's really accelerated and uh, the more I learned the more I realized the kids uh, were right on board anyway. We have a school Twitter feed, we have a school Flickr feed, we, you know, we use Facebook as a, as a school, uh, as a, just ways of communicating with our students and our, and our parents. I know the teachers, if we want to contact them, like they have school emails and it's really easy for us to get in contact with them if we want to. For me, it's been really important to create a space for teachers to take risks and to have fun so that they can bring that technology in and have it create more relevant and meaningful, engaged students in the classroom. Today we were working on a project called Techno Trader. So the students work basically together as a group. They form a little brokerage. Um, and then the students also engage in a conversation as to how this applies to real life. So they get that concept of what we're doing in the classroom isn't just drill sheets. Now we're using the, an app on the iPad called Show Me. In my grade five class, I'm using a program, uh, an app called eClicker. So I load up the questions and then they have it on theirs and then they choose the right answer. Uh, and then within basically real time, you get the results right away. It helps my teacher because, because um, it's easier for him to see the results for tests and he can see easily that we're learning better. If they have made an error, the correction is instant and they get the correction made right away for them. When I started teaching here, I literally taught with chalk and uh, progressed to this. Uh, it was a big deal when we moved to whiteboards. Uh, I was here before we had a computer lab. A lot of the children are more familiar with iPads even than I may be because they've been exposed to tablets and iPhones or different kinds of phones ever since they were really young. It's wonderful that our students know how to use the media and that they know how to use the technology that's available out there. A lot of the teachers are afraid to implement it because they themselves don't know how to use it. Uh, so I actually went to my principal um, and offered to put on this professional development day where we were going to look at the different forms of media that are out there that we can bring into the classrooms. Okay and guys once you're Ready? Text your answers into the board. And because you're all doing different work and I'm over here sometimes and not over there other times, I would like you to tweet me, if you can, some of your ideas and responses and your questions. It's really different than when I started and I think it's really exciting more than anything. To cope with the changes in technology uh, is a major responsibility of the teacher. A lot of it I learned on my own. We are not a rich school and the only way this has been affordable is because we are able to lease the iPads. We have a bring your own devices policy that's in effect and um, the policy uh, tries to leverage the devices that students have, everything from uh, a tablet or laptop all the way to a mobile phone, smartphone. Best practice is best practice. It's not about the toys and the new techniques, it's about using them to the full um, to full benefit for the students. Technology isn't the whole story uh, and I, I, I think as a school we need to continue to find ways to make learning relevant and engaging but I do see us continuing to go down that road of using the available tools to make learning and uh, well to make learning more engaging for our students.